Hey everybody, it's summer. Today I am super excited, sorry to be waving a knife at you, but I'm going to be doing an unboxing of two awesome snakes. So these came from Ralph Polinski. Really excited to open this up and see how they look. Let's get started. All right, so just for um, disclaimer purposes, I'm historically terrible at cutting and opening things, but I got a knife this time. I felt like that would be a kitchen knife would be a little easier for me to work with than the fancy knives that I'm horrible at. So we'll see. Okay, don't cut toward yourself. I've heard that said before. All right. So I'm so excited for these snakes. They've kind of been long awaited. I, I reserved one of them really before she even hatched. And the other one is super exciting too for different reasons, okay. So I picked this up from the FedEx hub just a few minutes ago. I've mentioned before, I prefer having all my shipments come there. Nice heat pack. And that is still, still very warm. Okay, nice. Sometimes the heat packs, there's been issues with them lately. So I'm, I'm glad to see that that is still warm. This is pretty warm. Nice packing. Nice. Um, Everything's nice and tight. I'll try to hold it like this so you guys can see a little better. All right. So, okay, so here is the first snake. This is a female rough scale python. So I have a male already and it's from the same breeder. So these snakes are coming in from Ralph Polinski, great guy of Midwest Serpentarium. And I got a male rough scale python from him last year. And this is a female to go with that male. So the male that I have is named Mulder. So naturally, this girl is gonna be Scully. Wow. She is incredible. And look how curious and sweet and cute she is already, wow. That's what I love about this species. I have found this species to be, ooh, she's a little fast, a little zoomy, but I have found them to be very interactive, very curious, not at all shy or defensive, just very am amenable to handling and just, just a joy really. And of course, I have a whole video all about rough scale pythons and why I think they're so awesome. So definitely check that out if you haven't yet, but she seems to be doing great. She looks absolutely perfect. She has those amazing blue eyes that I love. And yeah, I'm so excited to have her. And hopefully in a few years, maybe I'll be able to produce some rough scale pythons of my own. So that would be awesome. So thank you so much, Ralph. This girl is incredible. I'm so, so happy that I was able to get her. I know in his clutch this year, he was really low on females. So I'm very appreciative that one of them got delegated to me and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take good care of her. All right, I'm gonna go put her up in quarantine and then I'll get the next snake. Okay, I'm back. She is all tucked away. So now let's pull out this little guy. All right, I'm so excited about this. If you are at all into the Moralia or carpet pythons, that kind of world, then you'll know about Gretel's pythons. I have several already. Great species of snake, wonderful kind of companion pet animals, usually a great temperament, a manageable size, very bold and confident, and they sit out in the open a lot, so they make a great display animal. And there's there's not a ton of morphs in the carpet python world. I mean, there are some, but nothing compared to ball pythons or corn snakes or something like that. But there is a few morphs of Gretel's pythons. There are genetic stripes, which were the first morph. There are stonewash, which is another recessive morph. And then there's hypo, which is more of a line. It's not like a directly inheritable trait, like a simple Mendelian genetic type thing. It's polygenic, uh, so it's a little bit more complex. But this little boy is actually a combination of two of the morphs. So this is a hypo and a stonewash, and it's 100% hypo and visual stonewash. So what that means is, oops, sorry buddy, the hypo is a pigment 
a, a dark pigment reduction. So Breadless Pythons can have black outlines around their cream splotches. They'll kind of, a lot of times towards the tail, they'll get a lot darker. So Hypos are a line that reduces a lot of that black. It doesn't necessarily completely remove it, in, all, in some cases it does, but not in all cases. Like I said, it's a, it's very variable, but it removes a lot of the black, which creates a very a bright orange or more intense red animal. And what's awesome is that Stonewash kind of does the same thing. So Stonewash creates this, a little bit of a pattern disruption. It's really noticeable on the neck and it kind of, well, it's named aptly Stonewash because it has that kind of stonewashed appearance but it also brightens the animals up. So in addition to the hypo brightening the animal, the stonewash is brightening the animal too. And the amazing thing is when these snakes are usually born, like if you just have a normal Brettles python, they're usually like just as brown as can be. Like they have very little saturation. They're kind of a dull brown. And then as they shed, they go through an ontogenic color change just like a carpet python or a green tree python would, where they gradually transform into their adult coloration. So they lose that brown kind of desaturated look and they develop these nice maroons and reds and get their full adult coloring. Well, look at how orange this animal already is. And now it's, it's indoor lighting, so it's not the best. I'm gonna take both of these snakes outside so you can see what they look like. Luckily, I'm in Georgia and the weather is still pretty warm here. So I'll take them out to get some sunlight footage so you can kind of see their true colors. But look at how orange already and how light, and you'll see there's no black, none at all. Now it's, a, it's possible that as time goes on, he will develop some black. I have another hypo that has developed a little, a little bit of black here and there, but overall nothing compared to what a, a, a normal Brettles python would be. So if, if you want the most orange or red intense Brettles python you can get, the hypo stone wash is where it's at. And it's kind of one of the more higher end combinations, morphs of the Brettles python. So I just feel so lucky to have this boy. He is so, so gorgeous already. And what a cutie. Thank you so much, Ralph. I love him. And I'm going to name him Jean-Luc because uh, I'm a Star Trek fan, but also he's a, he's a sophisticated snake. So he gets a sophisticated name as my friend, uh, Lori Tarini was, we were talking about what I was going to name him. And, and that's what she said. And I thought, I thought that was a good, that was a good point. You know, he deserves, he deserves like a high class name like that. So this is Jean-Luc, the Brettles Python. And yeah, I'm so excited. He looks to be doing great as well. So, all right, let's take him outside and see what they look like. <laughs>